Welcome back to It's Game Time. We're here playing Conflict of Nation World War III. Going back to my map. We're about to go kick the heck out of a player. And he is running Afghanistan. I got it all lined up. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about. So I don't have a surrounding around him. What I like to do is I like to surround them completely all the way around and I'll hit them from every direction. But I don't have that option right now. So what I do, this is my main stack. As you can see, I got rails on it. They're now level two. And I got two anti-air. This is my target. This is what I want him to focus on trying to hit and kill because this thing will destroy anything he throws at me. So I'm going to take this and i'm going to tag his city do you want to provoke a war absolutely no oh he wants to fly we're not going to do that so we'll go this we'll... So set him down here and this is where those wave points come in handy guys set them out there now i will watch him as he goes and I will stop along the way and randomly bomb a city just to help clear it out. Now, as you can see, I'm sending my jets up here. They're going to go right here to this airfield. So that's 15 right there. Should have them over two. I just want to get close. Is that it? I think I... Ah, right there. See another one. They're going to stack. Okay. So now I got this stack. It has four anti-air on it. It has a lot of National Guard. So it's a big stack, but the National Guard, not really a threat. But I like to shotgun troops, and this is um, something that's very important to learn. If you learn anything out of this video, how to shotgun troops helps you take land super fast. So let's see, what's this at? 39. I'm going to run him in. I want... I'm going to run him in. I only want Afghanistan. Once it turns red, once it provokes that war, then I'll be able to see all his land is. Let's see, now I'm using my waypoints. Boom. And then from there, I'm just going to run him in. And he's just going to go. Sure, we'll take out Pakistan too. Take his capital while we're already over here. They're on the same team. And then my boat is already here. He sees a guy. So the moment that it provokes war, he's automatically going to start bombing him. Which will be nice. So I'm going to let them get there. And then once my jets get there, I'm going to start clearing cities out. So my guys can just run. Let's see. What's going over here? Oh, he only has two cities. Sure. A little war with him, too. Start cutting some of this dude off. Why not? So he's almost dead. So what I'm pretty much doing is just grabbing as much land as I can. Even if someone else is working on it. Because I don't care. I want the points. Kiss my butt. And if you have a problem, I'll run in and take you out. Just splitting them. Okay, 
Okay, and then we got Maui over here. He's already under attack, which makes it even nicer because Maui might be focused on attacking someone else. So we're gonna come in here and grab as much as we can as well. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, now here's a good example of what I'm doing, guys. I'm going to wait, put him here. Now, I don't know if he has any troops over here on this city. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. But remember the, where my guy is on his rank he actually has monitors, which means that he can shoot in range. So now, instead of running and colliding guys together to fight where they both take damage, I can just park them on the edge there, let them bomb whoever is in the middle, and then just walk them in and take absolutely zero damage. And that's the goal. That's that's my overall goal is when I attack people, I do not want to take any damage. Because that's how my armies get super big. Because if you constantly build and you never lose any, you just get bigger. And again, once he gets here... Someone's already having this tag, but I'm going to be rude and cut him off. But, yeah. Okay, did we go in yet? We're almost there. We are almost there. This guy's almost there. And then you. I'm going to have him start going this way. Oh, yeah. Is that turkey? No, that's not good. Okay, good. Ugh. Turkey is all up in my way. So I'm going to pull this stack in. It's just National Guard. He's weak. Doesn't do a lot. But once I get him in there. Oh, see, it all turned red. Now we're at war. Nice. Who triggered it? Oh, yep, it's this guy up here. <laughs> okay, so once I get him into this spot, I'm going to do something called shotgunning. It's where I'm going to just separate it and just run one dude, and he's just going to go in every direction. And what it, uh, what it does is it confuses people, and then they don't know who to attack. I want him to focus on my big stack, so I'm trying not to rush people in front of him. Y'all. So this is what I call spider webbing. Okay, so I got that. And what I'm going to do... No, I need two National Guards to babysit a city. Just in case it gets hit by an insurgent. Each one does two damage. Insurgents are super weak. But one will not be able to maintain. So I have to have two that does four damage every time they do their turn-based hits. Okay, so I just split that guy. And I'm going to continue the same thing. So two's going to park on the city. Oh, here they are. Two's going to park on the city. The other two are going to run past it, and we're going to continue his journey through on through Pakistan. I'm going to take Pakistan out too. Let's see, we got this guy. See that? Now, I'm going to take this, I'm going to split that stack, and I'm going to hit that one. Go up that way. Once you get these set up, you can just let them go. 
And like I said, I don't care if my National Guard die. They're super cheap and super fast to make, and I got so many of them. They're pretty much just Operation Human Shields. They're runners and they're babysitters. That's all they're good for. But if you know how to play it, they make a hell of a difference. Oh, why am I at war with Turkey too? Oh well. That's fine, we'll take him out as well. Ain't no thing. We're just gonna spider web him. And I'll show you what it looks like with the spider web. It's, it's pretty hilarious. So you see all my lines there? Those are all my troops. So they're just, they're just going crazy. They're just going to run. Okay, so I got this guy. He's going to come up here. Okay, Shoot, I might even have him park here. I'll make sure that city's empty. Okay, we got. Ten. Now, if you send jets out, I see people do this all the time. They'll have like seven jets and they'll send them all in one stack you see that little tank right here that has an arrow down that is telling you you have a negative now at the very bottom in the middle you says it says a down arrow and it says 82 percent so if you look at that ah right here efficiency it's getting a negative 82 percent that means you're not pulling what you're capable of doing so when it comes to troops you don't want more than 10 in a stack when it comes to jets you do not want more than five in a stack because then you'll get that down arrow and you'll start pulling negatives and it hurts everything well look i'm at war with everybody now let's do it nice now, this is how you grow fast VP, guys. I am set for it. Once you guys get enough troops, you get them lined up in the perfect position, then you just go crazy. But you got to watch everything. And when you see problems occur, sometimes you need to shift your plan and go a different direction. Like I have jets. They're going to... See, look at that. I'm already locating. They're going to kill that stack. And then I'm going to take two of these. One, two. And I want to... I'm going to park them right here. Once that's clear, I'm going to let them walk in. And he's going to sit there and babysit. He's going to sit there and babysit until the fire goes out. And then my city becomes happy. Once your city gets over 35%. See that down there at the bottom left? So even if it's at 35%, I'll leave a guy there. Once it hits 36 and higher, I then am free to leave. Morale is a beast. If you don't baby it, you will end up growing a giant plague of insurgents throughout your city. And they just spread if you get too many. That's also a good tactic tactic if you're fighting somebody that has a lot of power if you took cities and instead of keeping them like putting a babysitter on it if you just killed it took it and left it alone it will get rogue state the insurgents will take over and then they will start growing like plagues so that person that you're it's a good tactic because it makes it harder for him to take his own cities back if he wanted to See, he's bombing. Let's just make it official. There you go. 
I'm going to take this stack here and I'm going to start walking him in closer. That way it's taking less time for him to be able to babysit. And since I don't have anything there, I'm going to take two troops here. And again, I'm going to, let's see where he's at. Let's change him to that. Once I know that that city is clear, I will finish him walking through and just park. Again, there's that same stack. I'm going to grab two. There. When you click on a city and you're sending a troop over, you see how I'm doing it twice. It's going to give me the shortest path, but there's three ways to come in on this city. Sometimes it might have taken me to come up to the bottom part. I want the fastest route, so I... I always do that. I'll do it again. Where are you at? Which one did I attack? So if you hit it, see that? It's telling me that the fastest route is going to go up and then come down towards the top part of the city. So then I would hit move again, and I just want him in the corner because he probably has guys in the middle. If you don't go to the middle, you won't activate a head-to-head -head battle. Because National Guards, you do not want a head to head battle. Okay, so as my jets are going, we already know that there's a stack here. So the, I'm just going to bomb that until it's done. There's a stack here. My bolts are bombing them, and my jet's going to take care of them too. And then I'm going to send a guy to babysit that one. When this one gets here, we're going to see what is there. While we have a little bit of time, and come check over here. That's running in. They're going to go boom, 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 boom. Grab it up there. This guy, he has a monitor that he can shoot once he gets in range. He's going to stop right there and then start bombarding him with bombs if there's a guy there. If there's no guy, then I can just continue walking him in. And then I'll take that city, and I'll have one of my babysitters here. All right, this dude, sit on it until it becomes happy, and then I'll move him to the next adventure. Okay, so we're almost there. You see that little white dot that's moving? It is red, white. It's red, it's white. So when that gets close to the middle, that's when it will reveal if there's someone there. It can cross the border, you may not see it. Jets are kind of tricky unless you're having them patrol but if you don't have them patrol and you're just doing the attack, they get fairly close to that middle before you actually know if someone's there. What I like to do, if there's nobody there and it's an empty city, I will hurry up and hit patrol somewhere else on the map so he doesn't go all the way back. And then I'll target another city to check that out. If you send him over there to patrol and there is a guy there, a lot of times they'll get shot and you won't be able to see what's actually sitting there. So as he gets closer, you just got to watch. So I'm going to hit patrol. Brings those lines up. So if I need to, I'll just tag over here on the map. And instead of going all the way back to refill, he'll just continue going. And then I can check another city. So far looking empty. A little closer. Nope, I think this one's empty. Okay, so now I'm going to have him patrol over here, but actually I'm going to hit the attack, and we're going to check that city out. Okay, see? Yeah, he went all the way through it. That one's empty. So, give me this one. Now, now that I know that this city is completely empty, I'm actually just going to take a dude, babysitters, he's just going to run in there and just park it. Ah, that was that dude. Come on, top one. Bottom one. Okay. So the other guy that I had going there can now go to a different city. Ah. So let's see. I'm going to hit the middle. Let's see what the fastest shortcut is. Okay, so it's going to come from up above. So what I'm going to do is take this and hit him on the border there. So he'll be able to tell me if there's anyone there. Yep. And so what I'm 
pretty much just going to do is I'm just going to watch this. I'm going to bum every single thing that I see and just walk troops in. I'll let you know how it goes and we'll continue watching this as it continues. So as we're going, this guy, I was bombing a stack right next to him and we just killed him. And so now I'm turning them back around and I'm sending them back through. This guy popped up. So what I'm doing is I'm retreating my guys as he's right here. I don't, I'm gonna try to avoid to let him get hurt. So I'll just let him run. In the meantime, I got my jets targeting him all 15 of them so they're just going to constantly hit him hit him hit him until he's done and then once he's done i will then turn this guy back around and go that way but so that's the this is why i love jets as long as you're watching you can avoid a lot of upcoming damage so yeah, he made himself known. Stack of six, that's a good hit. I'm not, if I ran my stacks in there against him, he's pretty high rank. He would do a fairly nice chunk of damage to all my, if I ran a stack in to go head to head with him. So the smart technique to do is just use your jets, bomb them. Let them take a small amount of damage it won't be too much i got all 15 it's gonna wipe his six out and he couldn't even kill two national guards with his six stack i just think that's just funny okay doing a check-in right quick so a couple things have progressed we are definitely taking this guy out pretty easily um I keep bombing his cities. He had stacks and stacks all over his cities. And I'm wiping them out slowly. Actually, not slowly. Pretty quick. And my guys are... See, all my runners, they're just running in and just taking all this land that is not occupied. There's no troops around. So they're just going in and taking all that fluff. But it's a headache to the person that I'm taking from. I got my big stack here. Still hasn't been attacked. I'm hoping that they do because I'd kill anything that comes at them. So what I wanted to show you, I got this guy right over here. So this is the reason I take him to the edge, guys. Right around the edge of that city. So he's right into the border. See it? Red dot, white dot, red dot, white dot. So he's right there and he is bombing this stack that has troops and tanks on it now he's he's just going to sit there and bomb he's not taking any damage but he's doing a lot of damage to him so every in-game hour he's going to do more damage and more damage and eventually this whole stack is going to be dead and then once he's dead i'll just walk him in and have taken absolutely zero damage to this guy see he's still completely full and he's been bombing him for a while 22 health out of 22. It's pretty nice. So here's one of my team members. He's doing the same thing. He's bombing. Oh, the two of my team members are actually bombing this one dude. His his jets and he probably has some bombers or something there. And yeah. So that's the idea of why you send him just to the border of a city. You empty it and then you just walk in. That's why the... Basic infantry are good because they're the only ones that get that that range when you upgrade them to that high. Just that technique is, that's why they're my favorite. And I've tried almost all of them. So as these guys progress, see, I got these stacks. Each one's a two, but once they hit a certain point, they're all gonna split off. That one's going to the city. This one's going up that way to that city. This one's going up that way around that city. Where are you going? 
Oh, he might stop right there. But once he gets there, I'll redirect him further. Let's see if I can speed this guy up. Boom. See, if you guys watched my last video, I talked about jets a little bit. When guys get close enough, you saw that big gap that he had. When you did the speed up, it automatically rushed that time. It's a weird glitch that they have that I figured out while ago. Ooh. Okay, so he's still bombing him. But see, I tagged him a long time ago. He was in the middle of that city. But as the guy moved, my jet just constantly follows him. Oh, finally got him. And once he got him, the line turned from red to green. Now he's just going to go sit over there and wait for me to tell him what else to do. So since I'm already on him, let's see if I can tag him. Nope. Ooh, I can go to that one. Let's see. So far, I've cleared out all the cities within my borderline. You see that circle? Within my borderline, I've cleared out all these cities. So my next thing I got to do is I like to... Stop him. Go. Ooh. Come on. Stop. He's just going to go park. Where are you going? Oh, he's actually going to this city. He's going to do some damage to this stuff. And that one's cleared. Yeah, so this whole open area is cleared so far. And my spider webs are still going. Oh, who's this? Afghanistan. Oh, he decided to come out and play. Oh, and I've already shelled him. So, did I shell him? Nope, not yet. He's loading. So by the time he leaves the circle, let's see. So he's at 40.8. So as you see that, it's clicking down. Come on, get him. There he goes, he's hitting him. And it killed one jet, and it was 40.8. It's now to 13.7. See how that works? Now he's just gonna to continue to go. Just, just keep going. And he's done no damage to me, but I already took a jet out. That's just funny. Got my little runners. He did take some of those, but that's okay. Those guys are meant to be sacrificed. nice all right cool so everything's going we did see he had these boats yep this one is a destroyer destroyer suck against air let's see destroyers air it only does the two defense and then the other ones that he has is called corvette so since it's now not letting me see it we're gonna go look at that Look them up real quick. This first one. Corvettes only do a one. So when these jets, which are my partner's jets, they're pretty built up. And they already start them. To boats, these are strikes. So they're doing a three each, which isn't a lot, but when you have stacks, they do quite a bit. But they, she's already killed like three of his boats just on that one strike and then they'll do it again and then yeah there he's gonna have no boats left once he's done with that i'm gonna take my boat back in and i'm gonna start shelling the cities looking for troops that way we are kind of aware of what's around yeah so we decided to take all them out these this one's almost taken out going really fast Oh, 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 is it close enough? Let's see. You see that little bit? Red, white, red, white. Let's see. If I go or, I hit rush. Nope, he's not close enough. Not quite close enough. But sometimes it'll work if you turn it off. I'm gonna come back in a second. Oh, no, it did. It took it. Sweet, okay. Yep. So he's working on him. He's going up to take his place and babysit that city. As these are on fire, just got guys babysitting them until the fires go out. 
spider web in any anything and everything oh i got another rail gun ready i'm gonna send him up here so i can help take him out Yeah, this is going very well. Okay, last update on this video of taking out Afghanistan. So, see, here's Afghanistan right up in here. So I completely have him disintegrated. He still has, yeah, a little bit left. And if I, if I go to his little... Um, bird thing there it says there's only seven trophies left so that means those are the vp points that means he has like seven provident lands left so uh, one two three four five six seven once i get that done once i take those last seven he will then fall off my kill list so right now i'm at one two three four five six at war with six people so once i take those seven i will be back down to five which will be nice because i will remember each war is a negative two to your morale so um yeah and that's where the insurgents come in you know um you got rogue state they like to come in and try to take some cities over it when they're on fire like this one's on fire still it's at 33 percent once it gets 36 or higher i'm safe i can leave that city but getting them up there i have to babysit until the city becomes happier like this one is at 35 it's out of fire a lot of people will leave their troops but i have personally had them get taken over at 35 percent so i will not leave it empty until 36 or higher just that's just my personal opinion but I had insurgents take it over at 35%. So just better safe than sorry. If you're going to babysit it, you might as well just wait one more percent. Um, anyways, uh, so after we came in and took out Afghanistan, I went right in and took out Pakistan because his, this was, I believe this was Afghanistan's capital. And then Pakistan's capital was like this one right here. No, I'm sorry. Here's Afghanistan's. Here was Pakistan's. So I just went right over, took his, took his whole thing out. Look, I'm still, he ended up taking India at the early stages of the game. So then I just came in and I am now cleaning him up. So that's how that went. And then my guy, Pakistan, has was having a little bit of trouble over here. Because he was going against Vietnam and then everybody in this area just started hitting him. So now I'm over here. <laughs> Look at all these troops just landing. They're, we're just in here helping him out. Oh, my guy got stuck. Okay, no problem. We're going to retreat this guy. Save a little bit of his percentage. He's just a little runner. Where is my... There, oh, already got him targeted. Up oh, and here's another four. We're gonna target you two. Get your way out there and start bombing that dude. Okay. Um, yeah. So now I'm over here helping him. That's why I'm at war with so many people. Um, okay. Yeah. Afghanistan's about to fall off. Pakistan doesn't have much left. And then back over here to what we were looking at. Remember when we were taking this? Uh, I ended up having Spain. Spain ended up coming over and joining me. Uh, it happens a lot when you start doing massive takeovers and right here I'm ranked one in the map. That's me right there, Saudi Arabia on top. Um, and if you see my entire coalition is top five right now and you have five people in your coalition. So uh, me, Mozambique, Kakistan, Chad, and Spain, we are all top ranked players right now. Um, so yeah, this this match is pretty much done for. Um, and we still have the states over here to take, but yeah fairly easy but yeah once we took these out and they went pretty fast if you see this is all my land if you go into your political view and this is also kind of cool to see i'm all the green um yeah i'm all this uh radiation 
green looking color, um, which is nice. It took a lot and I'm just kind of all over the place. So yeah, <laughs> this was a pretty good fight. It only took about a day and a half. It wasn't too long, especially when you run fast. And, and if you look at my guys, like they're still, they're still spider webbed. I have them just picking up and doing cleanups right now, just trying to knock them off my war list. That's what I, that's what I call that list up there that tells uh, how many people I'm at war with. Um, so I'm just trying to knock them off my war list right now and just kind of doing a cleanup. I'm already setting up to take out. I'm going to be taking out Finland. I'm going to be taking out this whole giant thing over here. Poland, you're next. Um, Norway, Sweden, all that stuff. So I'm already setting up to take this. Um, once I get, I probably won't even finish these islands. I'm going to let Kakistan because I just wanted to give him a little bit of help. That way he can continue doing his thing. I'm not trying to take everything from him. I could, but I don't really want to. That's not how you do it as a team player, but we'll see. He's kind of hurting. And this is a good way to uh, look. If, if you click on, so I'm going to click on one of his pieces of land. I'm going to hit this little bird symbol with the little leaf in his mouth. And he's going to pop up at the top. So when I click on him, you can actually say, it says right there, known army size. He has 20 units. 20 units is really not a lot. That's really hard to work with. He's going to have to sit back for a day or two and just build some troops. Build those troops, guys. Come on. Uh, but if you come into mine, if you look at mine, my known size is about 96 units. I still struggle because that's just not enough. I'm babysitting so many cities. Um, and then I just have my little runners running around. But, yeah, uh, just I just continuously uh, produce more troops and more troops. You can never have enough. Um, oh, that city's empty. Time to go check out the next one. So now that I know that that city's empty, I'm just going to take some of my runners. Look at this guy. He's just sitting here. You need to come down here and party, bro. Come party. Going to leave one dude there. Get him close enough. He'll start shelling that dude. And then what do I have here? I have some guys coming in. I'm going to split this one, take these two babysitters and have them replace him. Once he gets there, then I'm good to take this guy and I'll still take him to another city in case I need him to shell somebody. Um, but yeah, everything got knocked out fairly quick. It took about a day and a half and we took out uh, Algeria, Maui, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and a lot of this has just been taken. Um, I think we were, yeah, we were taking Turkey as well at the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, we took out quite a bit, which is a day and a half. So, yeah, that's how you do it, guys. And I'm, I'm pretty much only using the four troops. I got my my infantry. I got my National Guard. I uh, got my jets, and I got air support, or uh, not air support, but uh, anti-air going. So those are the, the four that I'm using, and we took them fast. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.